Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to walk through, I suppose, how to create a histogram uh, using SPSS. Okay. I suppose, so the first thing is uh, that I'm, I'm using uh, the sample data file that comes along with SPSS. This data file contains uh, employee, employee data information. Okay. There's a number of variables. Uh, I'm in the data view uh, window. We know that SPSS has two views. It has the data view window, which is down here to the bottom left, and it also has the variable view window. Okay, but I'm actually in the data view window here, and we can see that each column okay, has a particular label. But more importantly, each column represents a variable uh, that's associated with this particular data set. Uh, the first column is ID. Okay, it's simply a variable that keeps track of the ID numbers. Uh, the second column is gender. Okay, this tells us, I suppose, uh, with respect to each record whether the record is associated with a male or a female. Okay, the next column is birth date. The next column is education level. The next column or the next variable is job category. Uh, the next column is salary, the salary of each individual. Uh, the next column there, sal begin, represents the beginning salary when this particular employee joined the organization. So for example, uh, this employee here, record six, is a male. Uh, they were born on the 8th, the 22nd of the 8th, 1958. Uh, their clerical, uh, their job category was clerical. Their current salary is $32,000. They begun in this particular position on $14,500. Uh, and so on and so forth. We're just interested in, actually for this particular video, we're just going to be interested in the salary column uh, and possibly the gender and the job category column. Okay, so what we'd like to do is we'd like to create a histogram. Uh, and we're interested in, I suppose, plotting the distribution associated with the salaries uh, of all of the employees within this organization. So if I scroll down this particular data set, down to the end, we can actually see that there is 474 records. There's 474 individuals uh, in this particular organization or in this company. Okay, so let's just jump straight into it. Uh, all the graphs that we're going to use uh, uh, on this particular course, yeah, can be found uh, in the drop-down list uh, titled graphs. So if I click on graphs, I get a drop-down list. We can use the more recent tool, which is the chart builder option. But for this pur for our purposes here, I just want to go into the legacy dialogs. And you can see that there's actually a list of predefined uh, charts or descriptive graphics that we can we can actually rely upon. Uh, the salary uh, variable is a continuous variable, but within SPSS it's defined as a scaled variable. So the most appropriate, I suppose, graph for plotting the distribution of a scaled variable would be would be a histogram. So I'm going to choose histogram. Okay. Uh, I've already done this already here, okay? So let me just start again. The variable that I want to plot is the salary variable. So I'm just going to, let's say we just click on salary. I'm going to bring it across into the field called variable, okay? And at this stage, all I'm going to do is I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just going to hit okay. And what we get here is SPSS uh, generates a histogram for us. You can see it actually labels things already for us. It labels the horizontal axis. Uh, this is the name of the variable that we fed into the variable view uh, when we generate the graph, current salary. Uh, and it labels the vertical axis as frequency. Yeah, okay. I suppose this really should be the number of employees yeah, uh, that have a particular salary. Just some small things that we can do with respect to this particular graph. It's I suppose it's it's not really ready for putting into any any particular document at this stage. It'd be nice to put a particular a title on this particular on this particular graph and maybe even change this particular this particular label here on the vertical axis to be something something different. So within SPSS what we can do is we can double click on the graph. When we double click on the graph it opens up a, a chart editor window. And we've got many different things that we can that we can actually uh, do with this particular chart. But let's just actually have a look at other options for some of the basic stuff. You can see under options, what we can do is we can put a title on the chart. So I'm just going to click on title, okay? Uh, and you can see that the cursor is flashing here. I need to give this a title. Well, I'm just going to give it a descriptive title. I'm just going to say this is a histogram, okay? Okay. Uh, uh, for it's a histogram, and I'll just call it uh, salary employee employee salary 
distribution. Okay, cause it's at the bottom of the actual distribution. Uh, I'll just click on the on the on the screen here, and that's not that's no longer activated. Uh, let's click on this particular label here. Click on it again. You can see now that I can actually add it, edit this label. And maybe I'll just change this from frequency to be the number of employees. Okay. And uh, once again, just click on the any area of the graph, which will change that label to number of employees. Okay. Uh, some other basic stuff that we get uh, automatically when we generate a graph through the legacy dialog is we can get, see we get some basic statistics, descriptive statistics over here associated with this particular distribution. Uh, n is equal to 474, so that means there was 474 observations yeah, that uh, make this particular distribution. Uh, the mean or the average salary is 